What's going on all you calm cool savages? I'm your host Wesley, you're watching CCS TV. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get low latency mode on Twitch. This is how we do it when the vocals turn the rhyme and the beats start to collide and it starts to hit the time. Now it's sounding, sounding great. It's sounding, sounding great. It's sounding, sounding great. It's sounding, sounding great. Welcome to the video, you guys. This is the new series on the channel dedicated to helping amateur and beginner streamers on Twitch. Before we get into the video, smash like, smash subscribe. So to give an explanation on what a low latency is, basically it's a feature that allows a broadcaster to reduce the delay between their broadcast and their viewers. So before low latency, it would take about 10 to 15 seconds of delay before the viewer saw your broadcast. But now with low latency mode on, it takes about two to three seconds for the viewer to see your broadcast. This makes the stream more interactive for real time chatting and the viewer doesn't have to wait 10 to 15 seconds for you to respond to their message, which is super awesome. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how to get the low latency mode. So here we are over at twitch.tv slash calm cool savage. Smash the follow button. <laughs> and to get the low latency mode, you're gonna to wanna to go up to the top right, go down to settings, go over to channel and videos, scroll down a little bit and right here, you'll see the choices for low latency mode. There's a normal latency mode, Enable this setting if you do not interact with viewers in real time. Low latency, best for near real time interactions with viewers. All you wanna do is just check that box and the next time you go live, you will be in low latency mode. And just as a tip for those of you out there with bad internet, if you do enable low latency mode, you will have more buffering on your stream. If you have a lot of buffering, I recommend just using normal latency mode. You will have that 10 to 15 second delay on your stream, but your viewers won't be buffering. If you do mess around with settings and bitrate in your broadcasting software, you may be able to get it to work with low latency where your viewers won't be buffering. But overall, I recommend a decent internet connection if you're gonna try out low latency mode. And there it is. That's how to get low latency mode on Twitch. Pretty simple, right? If you guys are wondering how to support the channel, I don't have merch yet and I don't have Patreon or anything like that. So the best way to support the channel is just to go over to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash calmcoolsavage and smash that follow button. We're on the road to 4K follows and we have an amazing community that's growing every single day. Come on in, join the fun. I would love to see you there. You guys, my name is Wesley and I do videos like this every single day. If you have any questions or you're wondering if I can make a video for a certain tutorial, leave it in the comments below. Let's start a conversation down there. You guys, if you like the video, hit up the like button. Also, if you enjoyed the content on the channel, punch out the sub button. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it savage.